Hello, this is Matthew McCullough with a quick screencast on using DevonThink, one of my favorite applications for the Mac. Don't really know of anything even close to equivalent on uh, the PC side. Evernote gets a nod and a tip of the hat, but it's not quite the same thing for me. So let's see what I can do with this for managing my flows of information as a technologist that's constantly having to learn new things. So we're actually going to show Devon Think at the very last of this talk. I'm going to start off with my web-based tools, which is Google Reader, for example. Here's some of my feeds. I'm going to mark this interesting article as starred. When I do so, there's a specific feed for starred items that I can grab, an RSS feed, and I grab that URL from Google Reader. And I've got that saved over in Devon Think. Additionally, I can also go to an article like this and say, oh, I want to save that page too. And I use this service called Read It Later. Really become addicted to that. I've got it set up as a bookmarklet here on my toolbar. Here's the one that would save it. I click that and the JavaScript thing says that page is saved. I also have Twitter entries that are of interest to me. So let's kind of scroll on up and let's see. Oh, this security humor one looks uh, reasonably funny and I might use that in a future presentation. So I'm going to right click and do mark as favorite there. So with those three different things, three different sources that I'm gathering, I might even have some of these things on my iPad or iPhone. I've got Reader, R-E-E-D-E-R on the iPad. I've got uh, Echo Phone on my iPad and iPhone for reading Twitter entries. I can mark these same type of things, but I'm just showing you the desktop apps that do the same. So all these sources, I want to aggregate and save all this information for future lookup, especially offline since I tend to be traveling without connectivity and on airplanes an awful lot. So let's toggle now that we've saved information over to Google Reader and highlight these entries. You can see the obligatory RSS icon there. And let's do a refresh feeds on that. And those should all increase by a few entries. And in fact, I saw that they did. So I'm going to start off with the Google Reader. There's uh, light painting in stop motion with the iPad right there. There's the article. I have a read it later list. And I've got the my NoSQL entry right here at the very top. I have Twitter start items. And there's the security humor entry right there at the very top of the page as well. So all three of the things came into my RSS feed, and in fact, they'd all be searchable via the search window top right here. I could just say security humor, and I'd get all the appropriate entries just shown up in the result set right there. So that's the way that I manage. Devon Think is the aggregator. It's saving all this information offline to its own custom database format. And in fact, if I click the magic hat over here on the right-hand side, it makes the value amplified. If I hit one of these entries, such as this one, it will in fact show me the categories that it thinks it might best fit in over here. And it also shows similar entries down in the bottom right hand corner. It shows other ones in my databases. Oh, conflicts between M2 Eclipse and Enforcer, TweetDeck and Google. These are all items that are related to the current one that I have highlighted. Starting again from the browser, there's one other way that I can capture information, and that is if I want a section of a page, I can simply highlight that, such as that, Command, Shift, and right parentheses, and I get a rich text capture. You see the Devon Think icon bouncing over there in my dock. And if I toggle back, go to the inbox at the top, you in fact see that I have a rich text format over here in the right-hand side pane. And in fact, if I want to scrub it up a little bit, take out some of these details that are irrelevant, kind of the junk that comes along with the capturing a page, I can just clean it up. It's in rich text and editable format. If I eventually want to lock it down, I can right-click mark as locked and the page now goes into read-only mode. So you can see the small lock icon up there. So that's just a short bit of how I capture my information into Devon Think. Of course there's many other pieces as well that you can explore and find in the help documentation but I think this one specifically shows my workflow of aggregating things from the web and taking them offline, putting them in a searchable format, and making them actually useful to me in the future. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and give me any feedback about this, or if you want to see some more details of my flow with Devon Think, and let me know in the comments. Thanks. Bye.